Transcore Spine provides this video as an educational service designed to provide general information about the Spineport MIS access system. Please remember that each experience is specific to the individual and not everyone should expect the same outcome. The results and outcomes depicted in this video are not guaranteed. The Spineport MIS access system is indicated for minimally invasive visualization and access to the anterior spine for assisting in various surgical procedures such as herniated disc repair, biopsy, and harvesting autogenous bone. Before the surgery, um, it was difficult to turn my head. I'd sleep for about two hours and then the pain would get so intense that I'd be up on the couch and walking around and got very little sleep. The pain really started getting more intense and I couldn't hardly stand it. It was interfering with work and everything else. affected me so many ways. And, and, um, I like to be competitive, I like to win or um, do the best I can and I couldn't. I was going around holding my arm, I, I couldn't hardly work. Uh, my personality totally changed at work. There was a relatively new procedure um, working from the front of the neck and uh, we decided to do that. The TCMD procedure is a minimally invasive way of addressing cervical radiculopathy or neurogenic claudication arising either from disc herniation or cervical stenosis. Here's a patient from our practice. Uh, he's a 35-year-old uh, otherwise healthy young man who had a large unilateral disc herniation at C5-6 uh, with a resultant uh, severe right-sided C6 radiculopathy. Given that the quality of his disc was otherwise generally healthy, he was a good candidate uh, for a TCMD procedure. As a surgical tech, um, learning the procedure came pretty natural and pretty easily. Um, there's one instrument pan uh, that you use and it comes very well organized and, and the steps just kind of progress naturally. We drill a small channel six millimeters through the bone in a precise manner to gain access to the anterior aspect of the foramen through which the root exits. We remove any offending pathology, whether it's osteophytes, whether they are coming off of the superior body or the inferior body, uh, and uh, disc herniations, whether they're out in the foramen or in a paramedian location. This is the x-ray at the four week mark following his operation. You can see the disc height of C5-6 is comparable to the adjacent segments, C4-5 and C6-7, where no surgery was performed. There's been no loss of disc height. The alignment of the spine is, uh, is anatomic and there's no indication of subluxation or bone spurs. After we decompress the nerve root adequately, we repair the channel by using that patient's own bone which we harvest when we make the channel, and also a reabsorbable implant uh, made of beta tricalcium phosphate. So what's left long term is just the patient. The patient's own bone infiltrates into the beta tricalcium phosphate, and the autograft that we return to that cavity uh, ultimately um, heals back in so that um, there's no foreign object that remains long term within the patient's body. Here's that same patient at the one year mark following surgery. And as you can see, the implant placed within the C5 vertebral body has completely reabsorbed. The patient has uh, his own disc and with that has uh, normal movement. It took, I think, about two hours from when I went into the operating room until I was done and in recovery. I had it Friday at um, 1 o'clock. I was home at 9 p.m. that night. I had the surgery and woke up a few hours later. I think most people, when I said I'm having surgery on the bones in my neck, didn't believe I'd be back to work three or four days after the surgery. 
A week later, I was riding mountain bike with my friends. I've never missed a beat. The surgery was very successful for me. I lift weights, ride mountain bike, um, play football. It's um, been a pretty good deal for me. I'm very happy. At Brain and Spine, we're excited about TCMD because we helped develop it. Both Scott Toonstra, one of our physician assistants, and I helped a very talented team of engineers uh, work on the initial ideas behind TCMD, and we've also been privileged to help train many colleagues in this technique. I get more hugs from patients that have had a TCMD than any other patient that we take care of. We're very excited about what TCMD can do for patients uh, who are good candidates for it, and we're, we feel very privileged to be able to bring this to other practices around the country as well.